Welcome back everybody to Dirt Rally. So yeah, new month, new monthly event. And yeah, we've got Group A Rally cars to choose from. So uh, yeah, let's see what we've got. So we've got the Ford Escort RS Cosworth. So that's 305 horsepower. Weighs 2,690 pounds and it's all-wheel drive. Seven-speed transmission. And uh, yeah, we've got the Subaru Impreza 1995, which we've already tried, so we're not going to pick that. And then we've got the Lancia Delta HF Integrale. So yeah, 300 horsepower, 2,496 £2, pounds. So it's uh, nearly 200 pounds lighter than that uh, than that Cosworth. And uh, yeah, it's got a six-speed transmission and all-wheel drive. I think we'll go for the Lancia because we've not tried a Lancia on this game for a very long time. Uh, I think since the first uh, championship on uh, the main series. So uh, yeah, let's go for this because it's only got five horsepower less than the. Uh, Escort, but it weighs a lot less, so should be a whole lot quicker. Let's choose that. That's right. Where are we gonna be? Germany. Cool. Uh, good start. So uh, yeah, a track length of ten thousand eight hundred and ten meters plus zero uh, altitude difference. Thirty-five percent asphalt, three percent cobblestone, and sixty-two percent concrete. And it's morning overcast. So yeah, I'm only gonna do these in three stage parts because I prefer that way now after trying it with a mini. Uh, and I don't know this is a far faster car, so these uh, episodes might be a little bit shorter. But yeah, I just prefer doing them in three bits. So uh, yeah, it will be every Sunday like today, and then maybe Wednesday or Thursday for the uh, next bit, and then we'll just rotate between those days. Right, let's start. So yeah, this is like I said, it's going to be significantly faster than the Mini, so it's going to take a bit of while getting used to. Five, four, also has all-wheel drive, obviously. So yeah, the only other Lancia we've tried on this game so far outside of this one is the Fulvia. And that was a front wheel drive car with way less horsepower than this, so. This is the first significantly fast Lancia that we've had in this game. Steering than I was expecting. A little bit sensitive in terms of sharp and you know, sudden inputs into the steering wheel. It's going to be interesting to see how this uh, car does on, uh, you know, off-road surfaces. Right six eighty. Turn left one, don't cut. One hundred through dip at last junction. Care crest immediate turn open heaven right, don't cut. Eighty. Caution left six past junction immediate turn square right, don't cut. Ditch on exit past junctions. Six eighty. 
turn square right. Turn square left at 80 past junctions. Left four long, 80. Double caution crest, turn left six, don't cut, ditch outside. 100. Whoa. Yeah. Kind of snaps into oversteer suddenly without really any warning, to be honest. Whether or not that's because we're on these kind of concrete and asphalt surfaces or not, I don't know. I guess we'll find out when we eventually get onto a uh, off road surface later on in this event. Outside narrows, 100 through dip, past junction, 100 over crest, 100, caution, keep left, into right by the media turn square right, don't cut, 80, turn headpin left, 80, turn headpin left, don't cut, 80, Turn square right, don't cut. Into turn acute left, don't cut. Into turn right, four half long. 400 pass junction. And to turn right one, don't cut. I don't really think this is the car right, in its quickest cut. form either, to be honest. So. And left five continues for 80. Because I think it's not got any upgrades on it, so... Uh, yeah. Right six. This car might get more difficult and, and more power. So, uh, again, that's something we'll have to see in the later uh, stages. Double caution, braking, deceptive, turn right one. Into turn right three, don't cut, down. Keep in, rocks on exit. 100. 100, down, turn acute left, don't cut, One hundred over crest, to finish. That was a pretty smooth stage, it wasn't, I don't think we crashed at all. If we nipped to a rock or something like that, I never noticed it, but the car looks in pretty good condition. And uh, yeah, it was... Decent first run. Really got the uh, feel of the car. Like I said, it, with a uh, hard and sudden inputs, the car does tend to uh, go into oversteer without any real warning, which is something we're going to have to look out for in future stages. But whether or not it's because it's on this kind of surface, because I think it's a little bit damp and uh, it is on asphalt and concrete surfaces, which this car might not be suited to. Like gravel or snow or anything like that so yeah definitely something we're going to have to look out for but the car is pretty solid overall certainly see why it was a uh, championship winner back in its day so uh, yeah 
hopefully we'll uh, get the hang of it a bit more as we go along. But the first impressions are solid. Certainly not a car I think I'm going to fall out with. Right, so let's continue. Uh, let's continue again. Probably be a shorter stage this time. Yeah, 5,560 meter track length, minus 5 meter altitude difference, 41% asphalt, 56% concrete, and 3% cobblestone, and once again, morning overcast. Still yet to hear any more details on Dirt 4, but as I've been s I said before when I uh, talked about it in the previous episode in the January monthly event, I hope it sticks to a lot of the realism and the groundedness that this car has, this, well this game has, because yeah it might not be the most flashy game ever or have the most cars ever but in terms of the uh, driving experience and the stages etc and the physics it's really top notch so I hope they keep those elements in the Dirt 4 game. There are more vehicles on that game. Uh, inevitably, new stages in more uh, in different countries, which I'm all fine with, as long as it, like I said, can see the uh, grounded realism of this game. Because Dirt 3, for instance, was a bit showy and a bit arcadey in areas. So hopefully, uh, Dirt 4 won't be like that. No idea if this game's been a success or anything, but I hope it has been, so uh, we can take what's happened in this game and put it into a more mainstream one. Brakes seem a little bit weak on this car. Be brave. And caution, turn right one, don't cut. Left four. Yeah, I do think Germany is easily one of my favourite countries to drive on in this game. Hopefully it makes a return in the dirt four. And keep left over crest. Turn square left, don't cut. 100. Finish. Again, another smooth stage, no crashes, a couple of offs, yeah, which uh, 
hopefully we'll uh, weed out in the uh, next stage, but yeah, that was really rather solid. Really rather enjoying this car now, even more so than I did in the first stage, but and that's what happens when you start to get used to a car, you can start to enjoy it a bit more. Though I will still say that the brakes feel a bit off at times, it takes a bit more braking, or braking a lot earlier than uh, normal. Then again, I was in a car that, you know, was really rather light and uh, didn't have a lot of speed in the uh, previous monthly event, so just got to get used to the fact that this car can go a whole lot faster and has a more weight going for it. So yeah, let's move on. Move significantly up, I think we were 449 before, now 391, so yeah, that's a nice significant move on to the final stage for this episode and track length for 5130 meters plus 2 meter altitude difference 29% asphalt 68% concrete 3% cobblestone and it's raining this time and in the morning so yeah we'll uh, truly be able to see how uh, much grip this vehicle has on these surfaces Can't wait to see what this car can do on uh, off-road kind of elements. That's repair, shouldn't be all that much damage. Nope, most of that looks like wear and tear to be honest. Which is good, means we have a uh, fully healthy car now. Rain so far doesn't seem to have affected the handling of the car. That's what I'll find out in tougher areas. Because it helps that it's all wheel drive. These kind of conditions a lot better than a front wheel drive car or a rear wheel drive car. Keep 
Well, this car's handled the rain really rather well. Don't think it made any difference really in terms of handling there. Guess that's a testament to how good the car is and uh, how good the all-wheel drive system is in the car. But yeah, uh, the car's in tip-top shape still. No crashes again. One off, but shouldn't have caused too much damage. Quite frankly, the car's just dealing with wear and tear more than anything else. So yeah, that's easily probably the smoothest three stages that we've had to a start of an event for a while, if ever, quite frankly. So uh, yeah, let's uh, see where that puts us. We're in 391 before, 338, so we've rocketed it up again. So yeah, like I said, the car's in tip-top shape for the next three stages, so we're in a good position. And uh, yeah, we should hopefully do uh, even better than last time. So yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.